Carolyn Doobie here, and today I have to pay my bills. And I don't really want to pay my bills. I don't like actually writing out the checks and sticking them in envelopes. It's the most painful thing I have to do all week. So I decided I'm going to play with these and have some fun so I actually can start looking forward to paying some bills. So I have got some envelopes here from my bills. I've got the checks and all that stuff written and set over on the side. And I am going to play with Seth Apter's new stencil. It's a six by six one called Inside Out. Love all the possible patterns and details I can get from it. But I have to protect those silly little windows that actually show the address. So what I'm using is a piece of index card and some double sided tape. I'm going to make a really fancy tape circle to hold those in place so that I protect the window and don't make it too hard for the bill to actually get where it's supposed to go because that's kind of an important part and I don't want to actually have to handwrite all those silly addresses. So, because the goal here for me is to have fun. Now you can tell I'm not putting the exact size over the windows or ballparking it here because if I have to actually cut this that precisely, it's going to take some of that fun out of it for me and I just want to play. I've got these great new spray inks from Hero Arts. They're neon colors, and I'm loving bright colors, so I thought, you know what? I'll play with these and see how it goes while I'm paying my bills. So I've got my envelopes here spread out, so I almost make like a big sheet of envelopes, and then I'm just going to start spraying and playing, and I'm going to let that spray ink go where it's going to go. I've shaken up the ink, and now I'm just going to start spraying those colors around, I don't want to waste any of that juicy ink, so I'm going to flip it over and make sure that I get all of the ink off of that stencil. Doesn't matter to me that those words are upside down now. But, you know, I had that overspray, and I kind of thought, you know, do I like that overspray? So I'm just going to take some big index cards and put that around the edges. That way I don't have any overspray with it. And we'll see if I like how that looks. And the answer is no, I don't like that. I want my overspray back, so I'm not going to mask that off anymore. I'm going to let the colors just go where they go. So I've got the big areas done, but now I'm going to patternize the little pieces and parts of it by just spray painting, spray inking part of the stencil and adding those layers. Now, I will say that that stencil that or that envelope that I'm on, I'm really happy with that one. So I'm setting it aside. I don't want to do any more to it at the moment. And so I'm just going to keep coming in and filling in with patterns and colors. And I'll be honest, some of these I look at and go, yeah, that was a good choice. And others, I just go, Oops. <laughs> now that I'm done, I'm going to pull off those little protective pieces and save those because those are some awesome little pieces of pattern and color happening there. Since I'm playing with a spray ink that's new to me and I don't know all the properties of it yet, I decided to cover these with white paint. And the reason I'm doing that is I have a sneaky suspicion that the spray ink is going to leak up through the paint, that it's going to bleed up through. So I'm still going to get the pattern and the design, but it's going to look a little different once it has that white paint on it. And I can already tell that, yep, yes, indeed, that ink is starting to bleed up through. And I think that's really cool about a spray ink because it does give you an option for a whole nother look. But I do need to let these dry. Well, I want to add another layer to this. I know you're shocked that I want to put yet more stuff on top of this. I love that I've got this great background pattern stuff going on, but now I want to bring out parts of the stencil with paint and a cosmetic sponge as the top layer. The reason I'm using a cosmetic sponge instead of a paintbrush is because the cosmetic sponge lets me get in to selective parts. So I have a little more control without having to mask anything off. Of course, if anything gets where it's not supposed to, you know I'm just going to call that an oops. And something very unexpected happened to me at about this point when I was doing the envelopes. All of a sudden, I started to think, this is fun. This is really super fun to pay bills. I never thought I could find a way to make paying my bills actually fun. Because now I'm excited to actually put the check and the bill inside this envelope put a stamp on it and send it out into the world. And an added bonus for me is that there's no pressure with this. There's going to be no judgment. There's none of that. Is it good enough? You know, all that kind of inner critic stuff. Cause these are envelopes going out to pay the bills. As a bonus, since there's no real expectation with this, there's no right or wrong. It means that I will experiment and try some things completely guilt-free, risk-free, because even if these envelopes end up turning out horribly, 
I'm just putting bills in them, so who cares? But interestingly enough, these didn't turn out horribly. I'm actually really liking these. <laughs> and so I'm going to have a lot of fun putting a stamp on these and sending them out to the world. And it's given me a chance to really play with that stencil to see what parts of it I really, really like. And of course, I couldn't leave it with just the paint part. Nope, had to add some more to it. So what you're seeing is some colored pencil on there. And I had to be careful because this is actually being mailed. So there is a chance it could get wet from rain. So I need to make sure that everything on the outside of this is something that can handle getting wet and not running. Over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com, I do have a photo that shows all of the envelopes from beginning to end so you can see how they progressed and how the different layers affected it. If you've enjoyed this video, and if you're still here, you probably did, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you've enjoyed this and you think there are friends of yours that would enjoy seeing this too, I'd love it if you'd share it with them so they can join in the fun. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.